Hi everyone, my name is Tabitha from the education team and what I want to do today is walk you through deep data integrations through our Let's Learn video series. Let's Learn is a video series where we take you through features and topics within Active Campaign for you to start to utilize and learn things in 15 minutes or less. So let's go ahead and dive in. Today we'll be focusing on deep data integrations. What we're going to do is we're going to dive into our example business, which is actually an e-commerce store that uses a deep data integration. We're going to talk about what deep data integrations are, what are integrations in general, where you can get started, and then we'll demo all of the different things that you can see once your integration is set up within the platform, and we'll end with some next steps. But first, before we dive in, if you're interested in gaining more content, more information from us here at Active Campaign and the education team, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell so that you can get more notifications every time we post new content. Let's talk about our example business, Boone's Bandanas. Boone's Bandanas is an e-commerce business that sells products for dogs. So bandanas, harnesses, leashes, collars, you name it, we have an accessory that's perfect for your dog. They also donate to animal shelters, so they have a nonprofit side of their business. For every bandana sold, we donate a bandana to a said animal shelter and then host adoption events every single month, donating all those goods that were purchased. So we're using a ton of different functionality with an active campaign, like automations, the CRM, forms, you name it. But like I said, we also integrate with Shopify and we've built a ton of data through that. So when we dive into our demo today, we'll really spend a minute talking about it. But let's talk about deep data integrations and cover integrations 101 before we dive in. So there are many, many different types of integrations. You have your deep data integrations, which is going to connect your e-commerce business to Active Campaign, allowing a seamless transfer of information. Native integrations are going to be integrations that we've built that allow you to communicate different information from software to software, back and forth, through automation steps, and through the connecting tools that you've built. Sometimes you might not find that you have a connection and you can use a middleware like Zapier to connect your tools. Either way, what we're doing through integrations is allowing your tools and the things that you're using every day to work seamlessly, effectively, and efficiently with Active Campaign. So let's talk Deep Data 101. Deep data integrations not only give you actionable data that you can build on within the platform, but they allow you to really create a full picture of exactly what you're doing with your contacts from the moment they make a purchase or the moment they fall on your page to the moment that you start to nurture them and they become an advocate. It's really allowing you to view the whole customer journey through Active Campaign because you're connecting your platforms. Some of our deep data integrations include Shopify, like we discussed, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, and Square. Today we're gonna to focus on our Shopify integration, but just know you have the same abilities with the other integrations that we offer through our deep data tool. So what can you do with deep data and why do you wanna set it up? First off, you can easily act on crucial information. So you're building segments, you're driving information into your platform so that you can act on it within your contacts in real time. We're retrieving and storing so much information that you would get as opposed to a standard integration. When we dive into our segmentation folder, you'll see all of the data that you can build and these stories that you can start to tell. And everybody's favorite part, you're creating automations based on actions and purchases that contacts are making. So you're truly taking the conversions and the actions of these contacts and automating on them effectively within the platform. This is giving you an opportunity to manage everything through Active Campaign. So let's go ahead, we're gonna dive into the platform and we're gonna look at what all of this looks like together so that we can effectively set up your deep data integration. 
Okay, now that we're in the platform, we want to start to look at a couple different things. First, we want to dive into how you can actually set this up. Then we'll dive into what it looks like when you want to start building segments around these things. And we'll focus on some automation actions and recipes that you can use to close things out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to your settings section. And in your settings section, you'll see that you have an integrations folder. And your integrations folder is where you're going to set up your deep data integration. We'll go ahead and I'll zoom in. We'll click on add an integration and you can see all of your deep data integrations live right here. So in order to seamlessly connect your store, you'd come into settings, integrations, and then click on add an integration to connect and start building right from there. You can see here that we have our Shopify integration already set up. So if we wanted to manage that at any time, we could absolutely do that. So we set up our abandoned cart settings from right here and we can sync our data at any time. So if we wanted to make sure that we were consistently bringing in information from our Shopify account or any of our other accounts, we could do that by managing our integration through this tool. So we'll go ahead, we'll press save and what we want to focus on next actually lives in the contacts tab. So what you can see here is we have all of our contacts. We have all of our contact information right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna toggle first to advanced search. Advanced search is going to give you an opportunity to segment based on specific e-commerce actions that are coming over from your deep data integration. So here you can see if we click on our option category, e-commerce, we can click on overall revenue, our total number of products, any kind of information that we've set up within our Shopify or Big Commerce or WooCommerce store. One good thing that you can start to really focus on is contacts that have made a purchase, contacts that haven't made a purchase. You can start to look at who's abandoned their cart and who hasn't, and then start to really figure out what the data points that matter the most to you are. So you have an opportunity to not only build segments based on certain things within your Shopify or deep data integration, but you can also then build those segments alongside other information that you're collecting in the platform. So if I wanna make sure that everybody that's made a purchase is on my customers list, I can go ahead and click search. That will give me a number of contacts who have done both actions. So you can see I probably need to update my list to reflect the number of contacts that have made a purchase. If at any time I want to look at a specific contact profile and see the searches that or the purchases that they have made, I can search that contact. I can come here, I can go to Tabitha and I can click on her name. You can see here that this is her entire contact profile. But if I were to scroll down, you would know that I was a Shopify customer because I get this tag by default. So when I come over from my Shopify store, I automatically get this tag. I've created a purchase made and a VIP tag specifically within my active campaign account. If I want to dive in a little bit deeper, you can see that I have an e-commerce section within my contact profile. I can start to look at all of my e-commerce activity specific to my Shopify store. You can see the total revenue that that contact has spent, the number of orders, the products that they've purchased, and if you hover over here to this products button, you can actually see exactly what products they've purchased from your store. So I can see in this order of $168.24, Tabitha purchased quite a few bandanas for her dog a couple collars and colorful leashes, and some bandanas. So I'm able to overview the order details for every single purchase made through the e-commerce integration. So you have are building a lot of different data points within not only your segments, but your contact profiles as well. Last but not least, what we want to do is toggle out of the contact profile and go over to automations. You can see I have an abandoned cart automation set up right here. So we can start to set up automations that are specific to the things that are happening within your deep data integration. Before we dive into our abandoned cart automation, let's go ahead, click on create an automation and look at the options that we have as far as recipes. 
If you're wondering where to start with recipes, think about what kind of business you are and you can always hover over industry and expand that folder. We're going to go ahead and click on e-commerce. You can see that there's multiple recipes around not only abandoned carts, but post-purchase notifications or saying, hey, thanks so much for making a purchase. You're wondering, how are these automations being triggered? And it's because we have deep data integration start triggers. So if you thought maybe you don't want to use a recipe, but you simply want to start an automation from scratch, you can go ahead, start from scratch. And what we'll see when the page comes up is that you have different start triggers that you can utilize at any time for your specific integrations. So right here, you'll see we have makes a purchase and abandons a cart. So if somebody makes a purchase, I can pick my Boone's Bandanas integration. I can even add additional conditions around this start trigger. And then anytime anybody makes a purchase, maybe what I wanna do is send them a thank you email, or I wanna add a tag. Maybe you wanna add them to a pipeline in your CRM so that you can start tracking their orders. There's so many different things that you can do to follow up with contacts internally and externally post-purchase. You're gonna to wanna to start nurturing these contacts in different ways based on the actions that they're taking and the purchases that they're making. Maybe you have different tiers of customers, VIP, you know, people that are just making their first purchase, people that have made around two to three. You have the opportunity to build automations around anything from the moment somebody makes a purchase in your e-commerce store. If we wanna come back to automations, what we can do is visit our abandoned cart automation, which is our other start trigger. If we click on holiday abandoned cart, this is our abandoned cart automation that's running alongside our December sales. So if we click on this start trigger, you can see that our integration is around our Boone's Bandana store, any product under any category with the value more than $25. So if you abandon your cart and your cart has a value higher than $25, you're going to trigger this automation. But just note, there's an additional condition here. This condition is saying, if it's on or after December 10th, put them into this sequence instead of our regular abandoned cart sequence. It's allowing you to kind of fine tune the way that you're communicating with your customers or the people that you're looking to make a conversion based on the time of year. Maybe because it's the holidays, you're offering some different kind of deal if they abandon their cart as opposed to any other time of year. You can start to build any kinds of strategies based on the deep data integrations that you're setting up within your account. Let's go ahead and talk about some next steps that you can do to learn more about things within the platform. One thing that you can do is sign up for our office hours. Office hours are a live session that we host three times a week with my teammate Chip, who will come in and answer questions with you through a webinar forum. If you have any questions regarding your deep data integrations, integrations that you've set up generally, or anything that you've built with an active campaign, office hours is a great place for you. Signing up for the community will allow you to interact and see what other customers just like yourselves are doing. So we always recommend that you go to the website and join the community so that you can interact not only with us on a regular basis, but also customers just like yourself. Also, one more time, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post several videos just like this weekly to help you stay on your learning journey within the platform. Otherwise, we thank you so much for joining us. We wish you happy building and happy integrating.